Okay, so you come out of my bedroom here. There's the patio. And I have planted two majesty palms and some herbs. And I made this nice little herb garden that'll fill out as, as they grow. I didn't want to overcrowd it. And then I have some of these pots and I use them every day when I cook. I like fresh herbs as opposed to the ones that are, you know, dried. So I planted them so that when I look at my window, I can see some herbs. You come over here and you see a Barbados cherry. And uh, it's not like the Bing cherries we have up north. Here's two little cherries down here. They are so delicious. They're just so delicious. When I tasted one at the nursery, I knew I had to have one of these. So over here I have uh, two tomato plants. One is a grape tomato and one is a Roma tomato. And then I have some cucumbers. This particular fruit tree I had to put outside the yard. It's a lychee. If you have not had lychees, you need to go to the Chinese section of your supermarket and buy a can of lychees. Oh my God, they're so delicious. They taste like a combination of a pear and an apple. They're just delicious. And they're even prettier to look at on the tree. And this one, this one is a lime tree. It's one years old. All the tree fruit trees that I bought are one year old, except for the mango that's two years old. This is um, a navel orange. This one is a lemon tree. And by the way, the lime tree is not key limes. It's regular limes. And these three lemons I need to cut off because right now it's more important for the tree to grow than to have some fruit. Over here is an avocado tree. It's a Florida Haas avocado. It's not the Florida great big avocados. It's Haas, but it's Florida Haas, which is different than what we have up north. This is my most favorite, one of my favorite trees. It is a star fruit tree, also known as Carambola. And the, and the variation is Wang Tung. They had five variations at the nursery, and I chose this one because of the taste. Look at all the buds. Look at all the star fruits that are ready to bloom. Star fruit, if you've never had it, uh, you can get it at the supermarkets up north, but it's a little expensive. But when you get them, don't just take them home and sit them on your counter. Put them in your fridge and then slice them and just eat them. They're just so amazing. And this one here, this is a mango tree. And this will probably give me fruit next year. And over here is little Gretel. Say hi, Mommy. And here's Mel Mel. Yeah. So that's it with my vegetation. Oh, wait, I forgot the strawberries. Let's go back over to this side of the yard. Sorry about the sloppiness of the towels in the pool. You know how it goes when you're swimming. So not only did I create that herb garden over there, I created these pots with strawberries. And what I did is I put a piece of rebarb through each hole of each plant, or each pot rather. And I put the uh, strawberries in and they should be blooming soon. Anyway, that's my gardening work for now. I love Florida gardening. And thank you to Tropic Plants for teaching me so much about Florida gardening. Period.